This man was raised by a ghost, his name was Fat. Fat could see spirits, ghosts by his bare eyes, so he became an exorcist. That female ghost who used to be his mother, now became his secret lover. Every day, whenever Fat finished his meal, he came to small and dark streets, and he spread out food for the wandering spirits. When Fat was walking down the stair, he saw a ghost. They looked at each other for a while, but no one did anything. Fat looked at the ghost and could see how he died. He was burnt to dead, but he ignored this because this was none of his business. Fat stood for a while and then left. The next day, he met a woman who was haunted by a ghost. He forced the ghost to leave the woman, but the scene that Fat rid the woman from the ghost was recorded and uploaded on the internet. Next day, a brave reporter woman saw the video and was interested in it. She asked asked another people to verify the video for her. This man watched the video and told her it was obviously fake. The reporter found Fat and wanted to interview him, but Fat refused. The reporter told he was just a clown. Fat ignored her saying, just threat a little ghost not to do the wrong thing. The reporter did not see the ghost and thought Fat was threatening her. She laughed at him for doing nonsense thing. The moment the little ghost was not noticed by Fat, he pulled the reporter's hand. When the reporter actually had been tricked by a ghost, she believed that Fat had a special ability. She wasn't scared at all and felt excited about it. To verify the existence of ghost, the reporter came to a psychic and asked the psychic help her to see the ghost. The psychic asked her what was the name of the ghost she wanted to see. She just made up a name, unexpectedly the ghost woman actually came. Whoever did not get angry when being called up for no reason by a bunch of strangers. This female ghost was no exception, she was so angry. First, the ghost haunted the psychic, then she haunted the reporter and ran out to the street. She was about to drink the gasoline to kill the reporter. Order. Luckily, Fat was also nearby. He immediately stopped the ghost. He helped the ghost to calm down. Then Fat told the ghost that if she let this reporter alone, he would help the ghost fulfill her wish. The female ghost said that she was deceived by a fraud. She committed suicide because of too much resentful. She hoped Fat could make the fraud be punished by law. Fat heard it and then immediately went to the fraud to beat his ass out. The proof of the fraud was in the phone of the female ghost. Fat found her phone under the fraud's table then he took the phone to the police. The revenge was done, the female ghost left the reporter. This man was fat, he was raised by a ghost when he was a child. From his mom, the ghost became his lover. When fat grew up, he became an exorcist. In the end of the day, he came home and tell his lover everything that happened that day. But she was about to reincarnate because her time on earth was going to end soon. Fat did not want that to happen, but he still hoped that his lover would reincarnate into a human. One day, fat received a serious case. A man was dragged to a pool and burnt alive by a ghost. This this strange case made Fat wonder a lot. He took his men into a pool for a checkup. They found a man who was haunted by the ghost right at the scene. Fat was not freak out. He locked that haunted man into a room. Then he threw inside a chicken and a firecracker. The ghost was kicked out of the man's body. He was standing tall and staring at Fat. Then he said, he wanted to kill the fraud, because that fraud could not help him on anything, and he did not want to keep an useless man. The ghost saw Fat's hands and knew Fat was very brave. He wanted Fat to revenge for him. Fat could not turn down the ghost's wish. Fat went to find a reporter, asking her to investigate this ghost's identity. Actually this was not the first time Fat had seen that ghost. Fat and that ghost looked at each other at a stare. He also saw why the ghost died. He was burnt to dead, next to him there was a 10 years old girl. He told this information to the reporter, and asked her to investigate. The reporter agreed. Fat then came home, his ghost lover didn't want to leave him alone. She didn't want to reincarnate, but Fat didn't want her to lose the chance of reincarnation. She was afraid that she was reincarnated, there would be no one left beside him, so that she decided to find him a lover. First she introduced him to a girl, who worked at a convenience store, had the same ability as Fat. But Fat did not like this girl, so the female ghost came to the reporter. The reporter was so scared when she saw the female ghost appeared. The female ghost told the story of her life to calm down the reporter. When the ghost was still a woman, she was married to a bad man. His actions broke her heart. When she could not hold back anymore, she killed herself in her house. She was going to reincarnate, she worried that when she was gone, Fat would feel lonely. So she asked the reporter to make friend with Fat. The reporter agreed. She took out a picture and asked the female ghost to find the woman in the picture. That woman in the picture was the wife of the ghost who wanted Fat to revenge for him. Fat still did nothing on the revenge. So one night, he came to Fat and gave him three more days. Three final days for Fat to come to the nursing home to kill the man who murdered the ghost. Fat wanted the police to solve this. But the ghost said he did not trust the police because the man who killed him was a police. Fat started to wonder why the police burned to dead a civilian. Fat came to the nursing home and saw the killer who was close to the death. He finally could not heartlessly kill that man. On the way home, the ghost got in his car. He ordered Fat to came back and kill the killer, but Fat refused. The ghost got angry, he flipped up the car, Fat rolled outside. Fat would not harm the innocent before clarify the whole story. The ghost saw Fat did not want to go back to the nursing home to kill the murderer. He had to ordered his daughter to haunt Fat's friend. If Fat did not come back to kill the murderer, 
the ghost would kill his friend. In the dead end, Fat had to suffocate himself. To come to hell, find the ghost and end all of this. But this ghost was so powerful, Fat was close to be killed by the ghost. Right at this moment, Fat's mom saw him and called him over. She told Fat that, that year, when she jumped down the floor, she intended to take Fat with her. It was that female demon who saved his life, separated him from his mom. The mom looked at Fat gently, but he knew this was just a trick. He knew that the woman in front of her was not his mom because his mom would never smile to him. Fat came back to the reality after escaping the hallucination. Fat's lover had found the ghost's wife. Finally, they understood why the ghost wanted a revenge. When the ghost was still alive, he was a smuggler. A police found out his crime and asked for bribe but he refused. His family and the police burst out a fight, and his family was burned to the death. After Fat spoke the whole story, the ghost's wife had arrived. The wife tried to persuade him to give up the revenge, and took his family to reincarnate. But the ghost refused. The wife wanted her daughter to reincarnate, she had no way. She killed her husband herself, then took her daughter with her. The story was about to end. Fat's lover was going to reincarnate. Before she left, she borrowed the reporter's body, and had a date with Fat. This was the first time she had touched him. Personally, I find the final part of this film is the best part. Fat's lover had gone, and he did not want to live alone. Fat was standing on the roof, and was about to jump down. And the story ends here with many undisclosed details.